Hey everybody, it's Zach from My Shire Farm and we're back again with another video to help you on your adventure with Caternix quail and becoming more self-sufficient. I'm a little preoccupied right now because I've got two quail in my hand because today we're going to be talking about the Jumbo Egyptians and I've got one of each, a male and a female. Obviously the males are going to be uh, much more crazy than the hens. Uh, they are two different age, ages. This one is in the brooder. That's about three weeks old. This one is actually one of our breeders, uh, but I wanted to show you the differences. So I'm going to put one down because he's driving me crazy and I'll show you one uh, at one at a time. Uh, so this is a hen. As you can see, as you can see, they're a little bit lighter than the males, which I'll show you next. Uh, it's a really pretty color. And then this is the the front of it and uh, they are feather sexable so this is a hen because of the speckled chests and then I will show you the male so a little bit darker on the back a little bit darker of a head and then uh, no speckles on the chest just a plain rusty chest um, so these are very similar to the jumbo wilds um, but they carry the Roo gene, which we'll get into at the end of this video. Uh, the Roo gene is one of the two major genes that we work with here. Uh, they're a lot of fun to work with, get a lot of new colors, and, uh, and do a lot of stuff like that. But uh, let's get into the Jumbo Egyptians first, and then we'll get into the Roo gene at the end. Uh, so I've already shown you what they look like. They are feather sexable, which I showed you at three weeks old. So at three weeks, you can tell the male from the hens. Uh, the highlights of the jumbo Egyptians are their jumbo size, uh, which we'll get into specifics in just a second. Uh, they are feather sexable, which is great for newbies. Uh, they carry the Roux gene, which again, it's R-O-U-X, the Roux gene. Uh, we'll get into that at the end. Um, and then they're great egg layers um, and uh, a de decent size egg as well, which is all nice. Um, so let's get into the specifics real quick. The average weight of the jumbo Egyptian males at eight weeks old. Now remember, technically a jumbo is 10 ounces or above at 10 weeks old. But the MyShire standard is we weigh them at eight weeks and if they don't make weight or we don't like them, then they don't go in the breeding program at all. Um, and so we butcher at eight weeks old. We think that it's a much better uh, cost ratio to butcher at eight weeks than 10 weeks. You do get a, a couple, a little bit extra weight on them if you wait the two weeks, obviously, but it's not worth the time, energy, effort, effort or money to, to uh, feed them um, for the extra two weeks in the wait. It's just not, it's not viable. Uh, so we butcher at eight weeks old, which means we weigh at eight weeks old. So they're, the males are 10.2 ounces, uh, at eight weeks old. The hens are 11.5 ounces uh, at eight weeks old. And you can expect between a 12.4 and a 12.8 hen at 10 weeks old. So a, a decent sized quail uh, and their feather sexable, which is nice. The average egg size is 14.3 grams. So a, a good size egg. Uh, next year, our goal is to get to about a 15 gram egg. And then we, we're going to uh, cut that off. That's where we want to be at with those. Their production is 320 eggs a year, uh, which is phenomenal for jumbos. Phenomenal. Uh, and then they do drop off quite a bit. They actually go down to 280 eggs the second year. So this is the one, uh, the jumbo Egyptians uh, start high on the jumbo level for egg production. And then their second year, they drop off more than any other quail, which is kind of odd. Um, and then their average lifespan is two years old because uh, they start dropping off dramatically. Uh, the average hatch rate on shipped eggs for us this year from what our customers have told us is a 73% hatch rate uh, and they hatch 100% true. Uh, every once in a while you might get a wild out of there that just out of nowhere for no reason, uh, but 100% will be, will be Egyptians. 100% of the time. Uh, and how to get the color is you want to put Roo um, with the wild and uh, and that will give you the Egyptians. And so let me explain to you what Roo is. Roo, again, is R-O-U-X. That's the gene, Roo gene. Uh, you can also call male Roo. So it gets really confusing. I get it, but stay with me. Really, the Roo is the redhead of the family in the Caternix quail. That's really what it is. So uh, it's the Egyptians are really a jumbo wild 
and it just carries that Rue jean, which makes them a different color. That's really all it is. Uh, it's a whole lot of fun. We have a lot of uh, Rue based colors in the barn, uh, red head colors in the barn, the Scarlet Fee, the Scarlet, Scarlet Tuxedos, the Egyptians, the Egyptian Fees, uh, the Autumn Pearls, um, or Autumn Fees. Uh, so we get a lot of a lot of stuff out of the Ruse. It's a lot of fun to work with, uh, and they work really well. Um, so that's really what the Rue is. That's all about the Jumbo Egyptians. If you have any questions, comment below. I try to check the comments daily and get back with you. Obviously, we do our live every Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, you can jo join us, have a lot of fun, ask your questions, get them answered. And uh, we'll do our best to help you on your adventure with Caternix Quail. Now, Jumbo Egyptians, you can purchase on the website at myshirefarm.com. We'd love for you to uh, support us, and we will do our best to help you on your adventure. So until next time, everybody, stay safe.